good rainy morning, divers. Let's hit the road and find some loot. I found this light up whirly gig at Tuesday morning. It's missing the bottom piece, but uh, still fully functional. It's got a little solar panel on the back here. It is a little bit loose, but I'll show you what it looks like in just a second when it's lit up. It is missing the bottom piece to the flower, but not a big deal. I just need to fashion a different stem. In the Pier 1 dumpster next to the whirly gig was this gigantic table. Well, it was gigantic because I was the only one picking it up. You can see they put a little bit of orange paint on there. My camera's not great at showing the detail, but it really doesn't detract and it's not very differentiated from the actual piece itself. So as you can see on the bottom here, they lift this up. Uh, it, it, well, it's not showing on screen, but it's a little unwired, unraveled at the bottom. Nonetheless, not difficult to fix. Overall, a really nice find. Don't you just love Tuesday morning, especially when you find a huge box? And in that box, I found these really cute phone cases, one with flour, another with diamonds, and then some in leather, actually, about $9.99 a piece. Pretty cool. I did find some headphones uh, by Sharper Image, and they were returned for not working, but we'll have to check that out and see if that's actually the case. You never know. I stopped at Joanne Fabrics and found a set of three Fabric Fusions by Aileen's, and I put it in this cute shell I don't know, bowl. It's got a small chip on it. Still cute. Found it at Tuesday morning. I found this really nice set of Glimmer Mist. It's a spray mist paint by Tattered Angels. Translucent finish. They're very expensive, retailing up to $5 a piece. Nice. I found this cute sign. One of the hooks was off. The, the screw had come loose and I found it right there, believe it or not. It's fine now. And I found its matching counterpart right here. A little scruffed up, not bad. I found a cute bowl, blue and white. It's got a small chip on it right above the flower. Not too bad, huh? You can put that in your backyard, do something pretty with it. I wanted to wait until evening to show you this lantern I found at Tuesday morning. It runs on an LED light. It's a flameless candle two AA batteries and it has a timer underneath there you can see that I don't know the cost uh, there's a little opening door there's only one pane of glass remaining the other three are missing so it's something that can be easily replaced let's shut off the light and see how it looks in the dark hey that doesn't suck Let's take a look at some more of the Tuesday morning finds. I found a pretty cute picture frame. It is missing the glass. A dog wags his tail with his heart. I know mine does. And that retailed for $5.99 at Tuesday morning. I found another couple of frames. One here is really cute. It has that beachy look to it. It has the glass in it. It's missing the back piece. Actually, I pulled it off because the rivets were coming out of the wood, as you can see there. And it can be hung up as well, which I prefer to do. So that's fine. I don't know how much that retailed for. I did find a silver plated frame in perfect condition, no scratches. It's just missing. So I found a Cuisinart grill scrubber right here, brand new. It's got a small crack right up here. And I can't say that it was exactly cheap. I wouldn't have paid that much for it, $7.99 or so. Uh, not bad. My dad will love it. And I also found these really pretty copper spoons, and they do have cast iron handles. This is slotted so you can, you know, skim, use it as a ladle, what have you. Then it was retailed for $14.99. I believe this spoon was returned with it. It's the same material. It's a soup spoon, copper ladle piece, followed by the cast iron handle, and it looks like some rust. The rust won't hurt anything. It should be fine. Not bad. Super pretty. 
This really pretty shirt is actually teal, but it's difficult to see. Lots of nice embroidery around the neckline and the sleeves. It's got a boho look. It's from Orvis by Orvis, and it retails for $119. Can you believe? I found one last unusual thing in the dumpsters. I really am not sure what to make of it. It was moving when I picked it up. I thought it was a toy or stuffed animal. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you would know what it is. What the hell is that thing? I think it's a rat. Are you a rat? I'm just kidding. That's my dog. I'll see you guys next time. Happy journeys. Be safe and be good to one another. See you next time on Designated Diver.